Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Beefcake Lynch. Play some game. All right, taking you through an intro to Wasteland 3. Um, actually, a really good kind of traditional um, turn-based RPG, if you've ever heard of those. Um, actually, Fallout used to be like that way, way, way back in the day. Um, XCOM, other couple games like that. A lot of Dungeons & Dragons games back in the day were like this as well. Um, really, really cool uh, kind of setup. And, um, and really kind of the premise of the game uh, kind of carries on from Part 2 in that you're desert rangers, in this case from Arizona, and you're not doing so good, and there's a dude called the Patriarch, um, he owns Colorado, and he's having some trouble keeping his kids in line, he has three kids, um, Valor, Victory, and Liberty, and all three, I guess, are conspiring against him, kind of led by Liberty, um, she's the daughter, um, kind of the deadliest of the three kids, um, Victory, he was kind of crazy, tortured cats when he was little, tortures people, kills them for no reason. And then Valor, who's like a soft kind of nerd, hacker type of dude, who's now under the protection of um, another faction that the Patriarch um, doesn't own, or they're, they're kind of competing factions, but they don't kind of own Colorado the way the Patriarch does. Um, and there's actually three of them. There's 100 families, the Gippers and the Marshals. And so anyway, Valor is like under the protection of the Gippers right now that used to provide um, oil to the Patriarch who's based in Colorado Springs. The Gippers are based in Denver. Um, so it's really cool if you like Colorado and stuff like that. These RPGs that are, that are set up like this usually are pretty accurate to like geography where things are at and um, you know talking about things in the area like the Arapahoes or like these um, uh, mechanic folks that fix up vehicles and stuff and like yeah the Arapahoes I was like you know it's kind of a Colorado thing I used to live there for a couple years so um, you know really cool so starting out in the game um, you do get to kind of make your own characters and or you have some presets as well um, what I ended up doing I'll just kind of pull up inventory to show my characters I ended up making a character and so what you end up doing is um, you have two characters that you start your party with and they're both characters that you make or um, you can roll with the presets. Um, I chose to make my own just because I want to see what all was possible and stuff like that as far as you know how they look and skill sets and so um, everything is customizable um, even uh, kind of the quirks and quirks are, are things that are they're not attributes um, they're not necessarily skills you see here I have no quirks um, but they're basically um, really really good kind of um, pluses or skills or just little things about your character like um, so you're always really really good at um, you know evading like melee combat um, but the downside is you have like um, no endurance or something so you have like a huge pro and a huge con um, and I looked through all of them and I didn't really like any of them so actually both of my characters I didn't do anything with so um, I have Coyote who's um, or Coyote or you want to say that um, who's more of an assault rifle kind of just normal all-out kind of you know damage person and I have Hawk who's a locksmith um, does first aid stuff um, and is a sniper um, and specializes in in that kind of stuff um, so the things that you know she kind of has built out more in her attributes are like you know you know getting lucky critical shots things like that skills kind of lock picking armor modding sniper rifles um, sneaky shit um, they actually have some really cool skills um, and this stuff, <clears throat> you can see um, Coyote is the nerd stuff, weapon modding. He's a hard ass versus a kiss ass. Um, and that's just how you interact with NPCs. Um, basically, how do you get stuff out of them? Do you, can you intimidate them? And if you have this leveled up enough, um, um, you see a lot of that like in um, you know, a lot of regular non-turn-based um, RPGs as well. Um, but essentially, you know, essentially you're talking to an NPC, if you have this leveled up enough and the person like giving you what you want, you can just, instead of going through all the dialogue, just force them to by intimidation. A kiss ass is where you kind of, um, you kind of suck up to them and, and get them to reveal stuff. Yeah, the sweet talk information out of others. Um, so that's kind of the, the differences. Um, my folks, um, the storyline goes is that you are um, some Arizona Desert Rangers that are trying to help out this patriarch uh, to take to keep control of Colorado. Uh, in exchange, he has plenty of food and weapons and all that stuff that he'll send back to Arizona um, to help Arizona stay alive. And um, this is why he's not asking for anybody internally to do it. Also, there's people internally that could be corrupted by his kids um, or there's other factions. Um, and generally, most of the factions um, are usually at peace. But now that the, his kids, I guess, have made people feel like 
he's going to die or something like he's really old. He's on his last legs. They're now all jockeying for who's going to take over Colorado. And I guess each one of the kids wants to lead part of it or something. So <clears throat> you're kind of there to, to not kill the kids, but to get them under control, bring them back to their father, to the patriarch in Colorado Springs. Um, so that should be pretty cool. And so went through all the tutorials, um, went through all the kind of... Um, how do you do the combat and everything like that? The first couple missions, you meet the Dorseys, which is a family that was initially part of the 100 Families kind of faction, which were the founding families of Colorado. And now they're kind of cast off for some stuff they were doing, but now they're trying to get back in there as well. Um, so the first mission that you actually do is actually what I'm going to do right now, and that is the Dorseys have captured um, some some people from one of the 100 Families. Um, families and they're holed up in garden of the gods in colorado springs and so i'm going to take my squad of four people right now as you can see down here um coyote hawk thunder which is a heavy gunner um build out i did and marshall kwan um and the way it all works is you you get basically totally ambushed um on your way to, to colorado and it's kind of the patriarch's fault um he leaked like your, your travel route and stuff like that. So you're going over this icy pond because I like the, mount <clears throat> the mountain pass that you're going to take. Um, got totally jacked up. You go over this icy pond and you're basically in a crossfire of like just all of his kids, people just shooting you up and killing you. So you get shredded down to like basically the last two people in the squad, the two that you kind of created. And, uh, and yeah, you end up having to get a base given to you, which, you know, I'm kind of at the base that's given to me. Um, well, actually, I'm in Colorado Springs. I'm not at the base right now that the, the Patriarch gives to you to be your base of operations. But you end up recruiting more Rangers, which Thunder is like one of the first Rangers I've recruited um, to kind of join. So that's why I made um, her a heavy gunner because it's kind of a good offset for the other two people in my party. Um, and then we have Marshall Kwan, who's actually part of the Patriarch's people, and he's a law keeper. Um, up to six people or um, characters can be in your squad total and four of them can be rangers or ranger recruits. Um, two of them have to be non-ranger or kind of non your, your squad. And so they have to be someone from the Patriarch or something else, or just an NPC that wants to help out and you have to kind of keep them happy and maybe do some side missions for them for their storyline. So this is the first mission where I'm helping out this lady. Hope maybe she'll become part of my squad, I don't know. Um, but it's her family. She's, she's trying to get the sheriff of Colorado Springs to help out. And I guess the sheriff didn't really want to help, but they've given it to me to kind of prove myself. So I'm trying to figure out, actually, how do I get to the Garden of the Gods? Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of cool little fun things that, that happen to this stuff. Like, um, I noticed some snowballs here, and I gathered some yellow snowballs, and you can do that. And they become, like, things you can throw in combat. So I peed on these snowballs and made them yellow snowballs. Sorry, I left that part out. Um, and they end up becoming stuff that you can throw and it gets like stink stuff on people. Actually, let me show you like yeah, this yellow snowball. So yeah, you have a 10% chance to apply the stink, 5% chance to apply black thaw, 5% chance to apply Denver rot or apply freezer burn. Um, yeah, so it's actually in a 5% chance to apply a Rocky Mountain oyster. If you, if you know what that is, <laughs> pretty freaking gross. Um, so yeah, um, really cool. Really cool stuff. So, so far this game, it does have a lot of cool little humor and, and, and things like that in it. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to help this lady with some stuff. Alright, talk to her. I wish I could get these flipper and marshals to take care of the dang bomb we under my hood. it. That's great news. I'm back in business. Yeah, so I'm also trying to prove myself to the Patriarch and um, help his people out and Welcome stuff. To the freshly reopened Jones's Emporium. We have everything you need. Just for the asking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you didn't hear this from me, Franz. But word is, there's still Dorsey's all around the city waiting to jump innocents such as yourself. Be sure to stock up with me, yeah? Whatever. So, um, go through these dialogue uh, trees, obviously. Um, but basically, this lady's like, um, her little shop was rigged with like a mine by the Dorsey. So you just, I just undid it. I get some fame. Um, you're standing with each faction and everything. So, yeah, the Patriarchs asked me to go around Colorado Springs and prepare to go and do this mission, but also to help people out to make sure I have good standing with his people. So that's what this was about. Ah, you want to hear about the 
wide open seas. Mm, yeah, 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 okay. I have no idea what you're talking about, Franz. No, no, with sardine leaves. So I do want to see if there's some bullets and stuff I can buy because noticed my sniper uses a 30 out 6 ammo and it is so hard to come by in the game. You, I mean, you stumble across just 762 and the 556, but man, these right here. Wow, and there are five doll hairs, huh? Okay, let me sell some junk if I have any of that. I had a little bit. How do I do this? It's the first time I've actually um, bought anything. Oh, just double click it. Uh, 30 of them, sure, let's do that. Alright, let's close it. So yeah, so a lot of the stuff that, that folks have asked me to do, like you need to like pick a lock or defuse a bomb, and I didn't have like the right, you know, skills um, for that. Um, so I ended up having to play some missions or do some stuff, and then you end up getting enough skills to, you know, animal whisperer. I can like tame animals to have them come along with me, but um, yeah, like your lock picking and stuff like that. You need certain explosive. Um, yeah, explosive stuff to, to defuse explosives. You need so many skill points in here. Um, yeah, perks as well. Um, some that are specific to the skills or the yeah the skills that you have, and then some that are not. Um, so like quick reflexes, evasion. It's so obviously like um, my sniper's got evasion. Um, Coyote. I can't remember what I did for him. Oh yeah, um, puncturing shot. So he's getting a lot more offensive type of stuff with that, but. Mayor's got to talk to this guy. And that's what I didn't do. Are you ready to rescue oh, yeah. family now? Yeah, this lady. So yeah, Lucia Wilson. She was the lady who's trying to get the sheriff to, to yeah, help her. At last. Yeah, at last. <sighs> oh yeah, so now she's joined up. I bet you she sucks. She's a gunslinger. No, uh -oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna lead with her. I just talk to this guy, he's gonna let me through. Well, much as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards, Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. Oh, yeah. Marshal Lupinski, I expect you to moderate your language in a. Okay. I apologize, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions. It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farms, and no room for amateurs mm. in this town. Here, no room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, let's go to Garden of the Gods. Hello. Whoever All right, just here we are. The city, come in. This is Bellamy Ward. I. There are Dorseys all over the garden. I pin down on a high ledge. I think it's so cool um, about these kind of, you know, turn-based RPGs like this. Um, at least all the ones I've ever played is that um, they usually have really good storylines and stuff with the factions. And um, and usually, too, uh, they have a lot of twists. And so, like, these Dorseys, like, they're, I don't, you know, spoiler alert, but um, early in the game where you're kind of learning the, the, the combat system and stuff like that, um, it's really cool because <laughs> there's, like, Jarrett Dorsey comes on and he kind of confronts you and you, you look like this is you, you think this is like a boss speech for a fight um and then kind of out of nowhere it's like boom <laughs> um he gets killed by an npc and you're like oh okay maybe this isn't a boss fight so it's actually kind of kind of cool you get little you know twists and turns and stuff like that um, oh very cool let me loot all that and can you kill these can you just grab a chicken can grab a chicken can i charm it Ooh, it's gonna fight on my side. Okay, maybe not. All right. And I got this put some major tomcat. that's put some boots here, which is kind of cool. So, oh, got a Dorsey ambusher. Okay, they're shooting at somebody. So, go ahead and 
Get a strap in right about channel. Oh, so he's right there. You don't want to do that. Oh, yeah? Why not? I, I, I've got this whole place rigged to blow. That's why. Huh. Okay, so I have a sniper. See no explosives. So I'm going to go over home. All around here. Carefully concealed. If I press this button, we're all dead. Oh, hey. Well, where did you come from? Oh, dang Back it. the hell off. Or you're dead. Oh, poo. Oh, see? If I was a hard ass level 4, I could just go through this stuff. Um. You okay. saying I'm a child? You're the one who's in for a whooping. Oh, looks like. Combat guy. Oh, sugar. <laughs> I should not have done that. Yeah, that puts some boots, man. Major Tomcat, tearing people up. All right, Coyote, Let's see what you got. Out of range. Okay, this sucks. That guy. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I need at least four to keep attacking, though. I really messed up. So whenever you put your cursor over um, people just doing your normal attack, the 86% is like your, you know, the the chance you're actually going to hit them, um, which is pretty cool. Um, man, I need to do a lot more damage than what I'm doing. Kill those fools. Just gonna get some cover. <laughs> My heavy gunner. Let me see. Maybe if I put her here, heavy gun it like that. Oh, I just did though, bro. Might, uh, huh. Let's see what happens here. Man, she's got like no range. Cover man. Eighty percent. Okay. Yeah, you did. It's going to save up the XP or the action points. So, what I'm doing when I hit this little arrow thing is basically when you hit this deal, you get in your turn, you carry over up to two um, of your unused action points. So, it only, I mean, it costs an action point to do, so it's kind of cool. You can stack action points if you don't want to move your person, or you can have them defend themselves from like melee perk people that run up on them. Um, and then you have like their special, so the more kills they do or strikes, I can't remember which one, either strikes or kills or both, um, charges up this. Um, special for them which does it still costs action points um but each each person has kind of their own deal so it's precision strikes like of course she's a sniper so it's like this badass kind of sniper thing um or sorry um ranged weapon kind of thing so this guy's same same deal coyote same deal oh so is kwan oh so is this lady hmm. so anyway Okay, go to 
this area. God, it's still out of range? Lady, your range sucks. He's got like a pistol. save up her stuff and then have her save up her one action point that she'll carry over Don't hurt me. Just oh he's all bleeding put some boots gonna get you now She needs six action points to shoot. Huh. So I can only do a four action point move and still shoot. That in range. Yep. Let's see, but I missed. Let's see my girl here. Nope, out of range for her. Get her to move up. Gonna rain fire on you, dog. You bleeding? Oh. Oh God! Did the patriarch send you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I need to. Bellamy, Bellamy, look at me. Have you seen my family? Lucia. I thought you were with your family. Oh, thank God you're not. Thank God. They went up ahead with their hostage. Yeah, yeah. Have done anything to my people? Please do. Okay. I'll tell whatever I can to help. It's not much. My name is Bellamy Ward. I'm a scientist. I invented the solar collectors. And uh -huh. I was calibrating the solar arrays when the Dorseys came. They're savages. They beat those Animals. people. They beat those people laughed at them when they begged for their lives. God, no, I was stalling for time. Okay, I had no a few hours things. to make chemicals, though. I could have prepared the PALs, photon amplification lenses. Cool, Normally, cool. they maintain a stable temperature. I once coupled a PAL with a dynamic cross photon a while ago. We, I couldn't yeah, figure yeah. out their function at first. Yeah, so in case think they took um, everyone to their camp, you haven't figured it out, rocks. I skim. I love to skim the NPC's crap. What about my family, Bell? Last I saw them, they were all right. They were scared, and you saved my Goodbye. life. Goodbye. I won't forget it. I'm going to heal my man Bubba here. We want to use those, uh... Ooh, I got to... I got to use those yellow snowballs <laughs> as soon as I can. And yeah, so you can loot the bad guys as well. Um... It's like, you know, you'd expect from a real cool, ooh, acid sludge, from a really cool um, RPG like this. Ooh, a pistol and some bullets. Uh oh. I heard a bow. Let's go ahead and loot these peoples. They actually make it really easy, too, so you'll see here. I'm going to loot, got the stuff, loot all, and then just all, you see these sacks up on the top here, I'm highlighting them with my cursor, you can't see my cursor, but you can see the sacks getting highlighted, um, yeah, those are all the different people, um, <laughs> laying around, so you do have a lot of junk you can sell, I like, see this, I get $10 for, and I have a barter skill, like, level 2, so I get, like, 200% at what the value is, but yeah, a lot of the stuff you get is just junk, you go and sell, and, and get money, and crap, so is there anything else? Rabbit. Oh, some ammo. Get all that. Get all that. Keep hearing a growl. I don't know what that means. My inventory's full for certain things. Let's see if my guy. Uh oh, look at that. 
the guy can get this rabbit to fight on our side. <laughs> No, that guy sucks. I'm gonna go ahead and disarm these. It's cool too, so whoever's in your party, um, from what I can understand, yeah, see if I have everyone selected, I think even if I had like this guy selected, you know, Coyote, as long, yeah, as long as I had the entire party selected, you get to benefit from their skills, so the right person to like disarm this trap will disarm it even though the primary person I'm controlling is Coyote with the because he has a star on him. Um so kind of cool. My uncle tells me you're a man of questionable morals, Mr. Kwan. Well, that's why I'm on the payroll. Somebody's gotta get their hands dirty. So good folk like you can keep your hearts clean. That's not how Colorado Springs works, Mr. Kwan. That's how you work. Huh. I'm sure you know best. Uh, so it looks like I gotta somehow get this solar panel thing using that guy's technology to power up, make that whatever this yellow color so this safe goes open and it's like a puzzle. Um, yeah, don't feel like it. So I'm gonna keep going. Ooh, what about this guy? Can I? Look at that, another... Oh, wow. They are waiting at me, waiting on me. Doing an ambush. I probably can't get up there, can I? Does not look like it, even though there's crops up there. Split my people up. So I think I'm gonna have Miss Sniper Lady. I'm gonna have this lady here. Hawk to go right. Is this even cover right here? Yep, get you to bend down. Get Coyote. See, that little red ring thing is like the person's like alert zone or something. So, hmm. And her range sucks. Maybe I'm not supposed to, like, even... Blood beast. I got a feeling this guy needs to die. That was a very nice. I liked it a lot. Save up one of your action points. Oh man. Major Tom just tore him up. It's so weird to only get 20% on this guy.
seventeen percent. That's so weird. Skill? Part of the handgun attack that three percent chip version then attack hit you gain instant. Oh yeah, maybe we should do that. What? Bleeding. Oh, crap. Why'd you hit the cat, dog? Gotta use some, uh, uh oh. That's what I like about these um, turn based uh, games is that you can actually get a lot more strategic with stuff. Out of range, oh no. She did pretty good. Oh, dang, my guy's about to die. Man, that major tomcat's good. Seventy-eight percent. Got your boy right behind you. Fifteen percent out of range. Looks like it's just on you, then, bro. Ooh, do I want to do that? Oh, I exposed myself. Though. Get my boy here. Oh, clutch. <laughs> Toned him. Blew his head off. Let's see here. Oh, 30 out 6 ammo. She's gonna take it all. Wolf Skull. You've unlocked a vehicle upgrade. Alright. Nice. Oh, dang. And then. Oh, am I still. Di oh, dang. What happened to my boy? 
There you go. He's all like, touch me up. Oh, look at the pit. Got the bodies up in there. Charred meat and burned hair. Adults and children. Ooh. I'm going to ask her. No. I don't know if they're here or not. Okay, let's find them. Come on. Let's find the monsters who did this. That... That was one of the Skylar girls, I think. Seems like we ought to leave her alone. Feels I'll leave it. Feels nope, I took it. Grave robbing. I did not care what you had to say, lady. I just took it. Um, armor crate. Oh, cool. Oh, and that's the thing, too, is that you have to upgrade your um, stuff. So let's go into inventory here. Cause I don't think... I don't think I put different pants. Scout pants. What do they do? Combat speed. Critical hit chance. Yeah, she definitely needs that. And then... Let's see. So I think we're good. Select everyone back. Oh, looks like there's more boxes. As I was telling you, um, when you do level up your, your people, so she leveled up to level four, so she gets an attribute point to spend. If her hurry, see, she had a lot of this to increase her action points because she's a heavy gunner. Um, a lot of strength um, in there as well. I'm oh, sorry, strength. Um, so, yeah, so let me see. I'll probably give her some other stuff, though. Yeah, give her like that. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead and confirm it. Let's go to skills. You get three skill points with every level up. Um, yeah, and the higher up you go, you unlock perks, which are in the next tab. Um, explosives. Yeah, she really doesn't need this armor modding because the sniper does it. Okay, let's go big guns and explosives. And let's go mechanics. Let's confirm it. And then for perks. All right. Okay, zoom out. Roll out. Got some people up here. Impeccably tailored clothes this guy has on. Uh, prepared speech. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brigo's organization and... Uh, Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them? They're, they're in the grave you passed on the way here. They didn't suffer, Lucia. I promise. Lady, look. I didn't mean it to go this way. Uh -oh. I tried to stop them. I, I really did. I begged. Uh-oh. Stop talking right now. Wait a minute, you kids were helping the Dorseys? Um, yeah, I like this one, you piece of shit. Forgiveness. We want to face justice. We know what we did is wrong. It was Neilius Dorsey. He went looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got- You didn't want anything to happen to me? So you let savages abduct and... But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me. Baron Brigo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. And I overheard Neelius say something oh. about Liberty Buchanan. 
the patriarch's daughter. Oh, so they're back in the Liberty Cannon. I think. I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorseys. Yeah, so like Liberty's out in the Eastern Plains, which is like Kansas. Um, if you know anything about Colorado, um, Victory, oh, yeah, Victory is in Aspen and Valor is in Denver. So just give some story context. He escaped. He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the hundred families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but... I have heard enough. Kind of Trumpish. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. Oh, he's begging. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Oh, he's begging. Please don't kill me. Please. <laughs> yeah, go for it, kid. He's garbage. Please, Lucia, I love you. Shoot him. In the gut. Oh, it'll take a long time to die. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. It hurts so bad. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Really? Okay. Guess we doing this. And we outnumbered. Thinking this isn't fair. Get him, Major Tom. Oh, you should have hit same guy, bro. Which ones? Which ones? Dang, I smoke these fools. Oh, there's still an enemy. I didn't even see this. Oh, and she sucks. Oh, he sucks. Who do I want to have kill this fool? Come in November 1. This is Ranger HQ. We're getting reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. Roger that, November 1. 
let's not talk too loudly about this killing hundred families kids business. Over and out. Hmm, I messed up on that one. All right, we're gonna loot all this stuff up. Looks cool, looks cool, looks cool. Let's see what else I got. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Take all that. So yeah, so this is the first mission. Um, yeah, it looks like Major Quan ended up leveling up. So this is the first kind of main mission after you do like all the tutorials where they kind of teach you the background of the game. Um, like I said, after you get ambushed, after um, the leader you're with, and, like, and she's like this badass like Major leading you like, you know, spoiler alert again, um, after like she basically, you know, also obviously dies as well. Um, actually, it's not just you and the sniper. There's like one private that you save, or maybe you don't. Um, there's all these decision trees you can take, but I save the private, and so you end up having that person as like your fir the first person that is a recruit for the Rangers. Um, but anyway, um, the, um, some of the first the tutorial missions, um, there's like a doctor, other people you can interact with. Um, what you do with them, what you tell them, will make them either want to come back to your base and work with you or not. Um, and basically occupy the med bay in your base or the training area, stuff like that. Um, so just be careful with that stuff. I don't know if you are totally effed in the A for the, the rest of the game if you don't have um, some of these NPCs come back or maybe there's opportunities to get them again. I don't know. Um, I just know I got them. So Waste, Wastelands 3, um, really good. It is turn-based. It's an RPG. So if you don't like turn-based, if you like you know running, gunning, stuff like that, don't play it. But if you like this stuff, you will love this game. It has got everything. You can mod weapons. Um, so there's that. You can mod armor. Haven't gotten into that stuff yet um, in, in the game, but I have been leveling up those skills. So yeah, this game is everything you want it to be if you're into uh, turn-based RPG games. It's just like all the old school stuff, um, even maybe a little bit better. So um, as I keep going in this game, I want to make some other videos. Um, especially as I kind of level things out, um, start doing things with the factions, maybe choose one faction over the, over the other if that allows me to do that. Um, I'll make some other videos on the pros and cons of that stuff. Um, but until next time, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Beefcake Lynch, and I'm out.